So if you're new to incubating, hopefully this is the fifth short clip of five about our mini incubator, which will give you the information you need about when to candle and what to do at hatching with a mini eco. Okay, so on day 11, we need to check, ideally, if we have viable embryos by candling the eggs with a candling kit like this one we have here. So this is called a candler. It's like a torch, a, a, a bright torch. Um, and that light um, penetrates the eggshell and gives an image of what the um, egg is doing in terms of development. So what we do is uh, we take that candler and to create a dark environment, we place this over scope little casing on top of it like this. Turn it on. Put, take an egg out of our incubator, put the egg in, pointy face upwards, put that down, and then we can look and see how our egg is developing. So what we're looking for, and if at this point I bring the, um, the camera forward, what we're looking for is something like the image I'm going to show you now. So here we have a, a little chart to show the development of the embryo in the egg and what you see through a um, um, little overview and over scope kit like this. So at day 11, what we begin to see is a dark mass forming where the embryo is developing. And as time progresses on, that, that, uh, that mass becomes darker and darker. And we know we have viable eggs. So if we're not beginning to see this at day 11, probably with a little heartbeat as well, then chances are we haven't got a viable egg and we need to take them out of the incubator. So that's what we're looking for. Um, at day 19, let's put our egg back in. I assume we've checked, we've checked all these eggs. At day 19, let's get these back in the right place. Day 19. At day 19, we want to uh, prepare for hatching. So there's a, two or three things we want to do. Right, so if we take our eggs out of the incubator, keeping them in the upright position at the point we've marked them, okay, what we want to do is to take a piece of kitchen roll or J cloth is very good and just cut that out to shape. Now, ideally, the best thing to do is to cut this out to shape before you get to this point, um, before you've got eggs in it, so you're ready. And if you cut that out to shape, then that just fixes over here and that creates a, a, a base, a soft base, which um, helps the chicks to stand more comfortably. On day 19, we also stop turning. So no more turning of the eggs because um, we want the chicks to be able to get their correct position for getting out of the eggs. Um, on day 19, we also want to make sure that both our reservoirs are topped up. So until now, we'd have one reservoir, but now we've got both reservoirs topped up so that we get the sufficient humidity for the chicks for hatching. So we put our eggs back in. Again, the point we've marked them. So the X is face up. And those eggs can now be left to their own devices for hatching. Very important, don't forget to put our little um, pot cover on so that when they do hatch, the, eggs don't, the, the, the little chicks don't, don't risk drowning themselves in the central reservoir. So there we are, we close down, and that now is lockdown. And we don't lift the lid less than every six hours, so we maintain the humidity in there. Once they've started to hatch, we can leave those chicks in for one to two days before transferring them under a brooder like an Eagle Glow 20. Um, and it's at that point, after one or two days when you transfer them, that you can start feeding them chick crumb. Uh, but until then, they don't need any food in here for the two days that one or two days they stay in here while the eggs are hatching. It keeps them nice and warm um, and after two days you transfer them. And that's it really. Um, that's the end of our five little clips on the mini eco.